Howdy, it's Kyle talking about the geography of my music collection. By far the number one question I get asked that isn't geography has to do with the music collection and people have asked would I ever do a video talking about it and I've always been like, well that's not geography but what I thought I would do here is talk about the geography of the collection itself to see which states and countries have the most artists. There are approximately 900 artists in my collection and I'm not going to be counting ones where I just have a single song or two downloaded from them. It has to be somebody where I have at least a full album of, whether it be a CD or a record or I've downloaded the album or at least enough individual songs that might make up the length of an album. And overall there are about 2,000 or so CDs, maybe 400 or so records. I've downloaded hundreds of them. and. A lot of it's on this hard drive. It's a four terabyte hard drive. There's about 3,000 gigs of music on there. Of course, half of it's just the CDs uploaded to it, but it does uh, cover a wide range of genres from the 1950s to today. So what I did was I took a look at essentially 900 Wikipedia pages to see where these artists are from. And it's not just where they were born. A lot of folks, including myself, were not raised where they were born. So I took a look at where they were raised, their formative years, to see where they're from and to see which states and countries are represented the most in this music collection. I'm going to start off with the states in which I have no artists from. So there are seven of these. One thing really interesting about these states is that Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and South Dakota are all contiguous. So the interior Northwest might not be known for its music, but they do also have Alaska and New Hampshire with zero. With New Hampshire having zero and both Maine and Rhode Island having just one, New England isn't off to a great start here. Nevada and New Mexico are each home to one of the more prominent rock bands of the 21st century, the Killers from Vegas and the Shins from Albuquerque. And then from Kansas, Kansas. There are 12 countries in which I have one artist from each covering a wide range of genres here. Everything from Sepultura, a heavy metal band from Brazil, Arturo Sandoval, a Latin jazz trumpeter from Cuba, all the way down to Billy Ocean from Trinidad. So with North Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska now in here, you're getting this giant blob of the kind of interior Northwest and Northern Great Plains where there aren't many artists coming from there. You have some decent stuff amongst these states here, George Thorgood, Bright Eyes, and Steve Miller, but let's move it on over to the countries where I have two artists from each. I have a couple of sitar albums from India, both Focus and Golden Earring are from the Netherlands. I have a couple of black metal albums from Norway, and I know Wales isn't an independent country, but I am counting it as such here. So if you want it, come and get it. We're looking at the states where I have three artists from. Arizona only has a few, but a pretty good cowpunk band from the 80s called the Meat Puppets are from there. Oregon's kind of surprising that it has so few, with Everclear being the biggest band from there. Fish being from Vermont, well, that checks. And if you've ever been to a house party hosted by a white millennial and you're wondering what the music playing in the background was, it was Jack Johnson. All right, I've got to harden my heart and swallow my tears. Let's move on to the places where I have four artists from. Kind of like Oregon, Colorado is a bit of a surprise to only have four, and the most well-known artist from there is either Big Head Todd or The Fray, neither one of which are huge. So it's a little bittersweet that Colorado only has four, but the country of Ireland also has four in my collection. And there are people out there that would say that U2 is better than any British band that ever existed. I mean, not me, but some people. All right, before I get numb, let's go on to the places where I have five artists from. Connecticut is the only state with five, and my favorite artist from there is current alternative hip-hop artist Kenny Beats. And I have five artists from Mexico, and they're all considered Norteño music. They often wear Western wear, and they usually have an accordion in the band, and their names are almost always the somethings from somewhere, with the most popular band being Los Tigres del Norte. Now crossing the border, we're going to the places where I have six. That's the state of Maryland, as well as Scotland. The most well-known artists from Maryland are probably Frank Zappa and rapper Logic. I didn't know exactly who was from Scotland versus England. I knew some of these bands were from the UK, but some of the more prominent ones from Scotland include Nazareth and Franz Ferdinand. But, in a big country, dreams stay with you, so let's move on to the places where I have seven artists from. You have a couple of major players with Prince and Bob Dylan, a couple of huge 80s indie rock bands with Husker Du and The Replacements, and my favorite band of the past 20 years, The Hold Steady. I also have seven artists from D.C., with the most prominent one being Marvin Gaye. And there was also quite a bit of an 80s punk scene in D.C. with Minor Threat, Fugazi, and Bad Brains all coming from there. But let's stay positive as we move on to the places where I have eight artists from. From Indiana, you have some big players like Michael Jackson and John Mellencamp. Missouri has had a decent number of artists come from St. Louis, but very few from Kansas City. Oklahoma is known for a lot of country artists, most prominently Garth Brooks, but it's also home to legendary singer J.J. Cale. 
You got everything from Dizzy Gillespie and Toro E. Moi from South Carolina, but my wife growing up there in the 90s had to have Hootie and the Blowfish. And Virginia is home to two bands that are on the opposite ends of the spectrum of greatness. At one end, one of the greatest of all times, Guar, and at the other end, Dave Matthews. And from Alabama, Alabama. And perhaps the biggest surprise on this list is Sweden with eight artists. My favorite band from Sweden are the Hives, but most of the artists I have from Sweden are some of that black metal, death metal stuff. With names like Entombed, Emperor, and Diabolicum, you know what you're getting yourself into with those. I'm going to soak up the sun to Kentucky where I have nine artists from there. You have some great classic bluegrass coming from the bluegrass state with Bill Monroe and Flatt and Scruggs. You have some more current country artists like Chris Stapleton and Sturgill Simpson. But the band I have the most from coming from Kentucky is My Morning Jacket. And next up is Arkansas where I have 10 artists from. You have some really old artists like Johnny Cash and Glenn Campbell from there, but I think the only major artist from the past 20 years is Evanescence. And keeping it in the South with 11 artists, it's North Carolina. There have been a lot of major artists come out of North Carolina, including jazz legend John Coltrane, but the artist I have the most stuff from from North Carolina is Chatham County Line. All right, let's leave this closing town heading down to Mississippi where I have 12 artists from there. And just like Arkansas, most of these artists I have from here are pretty old. Elvis is the most well-known artist from Mississippi, but the one I have the most of is B.B. King. Okay, let's take our suspicious minds down to Florida where I have 15 artists from. 15 is kind of a low number for a state with as many people as Florida, but a couple of the artists that are from there people might not know are from Florida. Most people know that Leonard Skinner is from Florida despite singing Sweet Home Alabama, but a lot of folks don't know that both Ray Charles and the Allman Brothers are also from Florida. But certainly the artist I have the most of from Florida is Tom Petty. Also with 15 artists is Louisiana. So another southern state, a lot of old artists, a lot of country and blues. But you also have a distinctly Louisiana style of music called Zydeco. And the artist I have the most of from Louisiana is in fact Buckwheat Zydeco. But Australia comes in and says, hey, don't do me like that. We got 16 artists in your collection. Probably the most well-known band from there is ACDC, although I'm not really a huge fan. But I do like a couple of 80s Australian punk bands, Radio Birdman and Lime Spiders. But certainly the artist I have the most of from Australia is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. They're one of my favorite bands of all time and one of the few where I collect their individual actual records because they look really cool. But if you collect King Gizzard, be prepared to be broke. They've put out like maybe 126 albums in the past three weeks or something like that. All right, who could it be now? The two states where I have 18 artists from, Massachusetts and Washington. Most people probably are familiar with that early 90s Seattle sound, that grunge sound, and the bands I have the most stuff from that's from Washington is Pearl Jam. And Massachusetts hasn't really been associated with any one type of music in particular, but a lot of good variety coming from there, including the Pixies, one of my all-time favorite bands. In fact, the Pixies Doolittle, their album from 89, is my all-time favorite single album. And also from Massachusetts is just another band out of Boston. Boston. All right, vamos, on to the states where I have 20 artists from, Ohio and Pennsylvania. Ohio is home to a couple of country legends like Dwight Yoakam and David Allen Coe. You got some classic funk and soul masters, including Isley Brothers, Bootsy Collins, and the Ohio Players. But who I have the most of that's from Ohio are the Black Keys. Now I'll whip it over to Pennsylvania, where they also have 20 artists. Philadelphia was known for a lot of soul and disco stuff in the 70s. And you've had other good artists come out of Philly, but surprisingly enough, very few from Pittsburgh. But the one artist I have the most of is from Western Pennsylvania, and that's Nine Inch Nails. So now you bring me closer to the places where I have 21 artists from, starting with Georgia. You've had so many from Georgia because you have the combination of the country areas where you've had some blues and country singers come from, but also the big city of Atlanta where you've had some rock bands and rappers. And even though they're not my favorite band, the artist I had the most of from Georgia is R.E.M. So that's a pretty wide variety of stuff, kind of like New Jersey, where I also have 21 artists. The most well-known people from Jersey are Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen, Whitney Houston, and Frank Sinatra. And they're all okay, but my favorite artist from New Jersey is the Misfits. So how will I know when I get to the next country on this list? Oh, it's Canada. I've always found it interesting that there have been artists that have been huge in Canada that really weren't popular at all in the U.S. But when it comes down to music for Canada, there are two major artists that I really think of first. One is one of my all-time favorite bands, Rush. They're one of the most talented bands of all time, and I have about 20 of their albums. And the other is My Girl Sarah. 
All right, you ain't seen nothing yet because we're getting up to the top seven. With 23 artists, it's Tennessee. It's hard to get into much of a discussion about Tennessee without getting into music. You have the blues and soul stacks records coming out of Memphis. You got the country music industry, the grand old Opry in Nashville. But it isn't just old blues, soul, and country because the artists I have the most of from Tennessee are the Kings of Leon. Man, doing this video is like working 9 to 5. Let's move on to Michigan where I've got 28 artists. Another state known for many different genres of music. You had Motown, the kind of mainstream soul stuff in the 60s. You had a lot of the hard rock stuff coming out of the 70s. A lot of hip hop in the 90s and 2000s. And you've also got my personal favorite current rapper, Danny Brown. All right, I can't help myself. I'm going down to number five, Illinois, with 29 artists. Chicago was known for being the main start for the electric blues. There have also been many rock bands and rappers come from Chicago. But what are arguably the state's two most famous bands, Ario Speedwagon and Cheap Trick, are not from Chicago. And the 29 artists from Illinois includes the rock band from Chicago, Chicago. So Mama's alright, Daddy's alright, but not as alright as Texas, who has 47 artists. Texas, big state, big cities, big country areas, a lot of spots for people to come from. So you've had huge country names like Willie Nelson and George Strait, but also lesser known guys like Robert Earl Keen and the Austin Lounge Lizards. However, I think the artist that epitomizes Texas music more than any is the one I have the most of, and that is Stevie Ray Vaughan. I gotta be in Amarillo by morning, so let's move on to New York where I have 81 artists from. That's a big step from 47 to 81, but New York is certainly going to have a lot of stuff from there. You would be correct if you would say that most of these artists come from the New York City metro area, but I was actually quite surprised to see just the dominant percentages of New York artists to be coming from the city. But it certainly has to be mentioned that my two favorite bands of all time are both from New York. My 1A and 1B favorite bands are Blue Oyster Cult and Steely Dan, both are from the New York City metro area. All right, you've got to fight for your rights to get to number two. That's England with 110 artists. Another big step up from 81 New York to 110 for England. Not a huge surprise, though. One thing very interesting is that if you were to ask a bunch of rock fans what are the greatest rock bands of all time, the main ones are going to be British. It's usually going to be the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, and the Beatles. But some of my favorite bands of the early 2000s are also from there as well. The Arctic Monkeys, the Kooks, and the Heavy. I'm also a big fan of Dire Straits and the Gorillas. I like a lot of Jethro Tull and Elton John. You have some great punk in the 70s come out of England, such as the Vibrators and the Adverts. But the artist I had the most of that's from England is in fact the Rolling Stones. All right, Goo Goo number one on the list is California with 178 artists. I figured when I did this, California would end up number one, but I'm surprised I have this much more from California as opposed to England. And although most of the stuff is either from the LA area or the Bay area, there are a handful of people that are not from those two major metros. From my hometown is Tom Johnston, who's the singer of the Doobie Brothers, someone who went to school with my mom, and also from my hometown is somebody I know, Matt Mangano, the bass player for the Zach Brown Band. And Steve Perry, Korn, and Merle Haggard are all from the same general area as well. But certainly the artist I have the most of from California, and by far the most of of anybody, is the Grateful Dead. But yeah, with 178 artists, California comes in number one on the list with the most of my collection. So that was a look at the geography of my music collection. And California, England, New York, and Texas being at the top isn't much of a surprise. Although I was surprised at just how many are from California. But the type of music you listen to will have an impact on the types of places that show up in your own personal collection. So if you're into heavy metal and black metal, you'll see Scandinavian countries show up more. If you're into, say, electronic or techno kind of stuff, I think... Uh, Washington, D.C. is big for that, but you know, I think I do cover a wide range of genres with my taste in music, so I think it's a pretty good indication of the types of places that produce the artists and bands that are popular here in the U.S. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve, and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about geography from a nerd. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out. I'd like to give a special thanks to my superior patrons for their support. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. As always, thank you very much.